this new B-Swarm update may actually be the craziest and biggest update ever to exist and this is because of all the new changes we do have, all the new items that have been added, yes Coco Belt and also this brand new event for the Roblox Classic event, Retro Swarm Challenge defends the Hive. So I am going to be showing you like everything that has happened because there is so much to go over, like literally so much Blue Hive nerfs, White Hive nerfs, Red Hives nerfs but loads of buffs as well. So let me actually give you what they are and also the meta is going to be looking really really different now as well. The hive changes and the bees you are going to have to run now is just going to be insane. But yeah so make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet already as we're insanely close to 100,000 subscribers and make sure to also like the video because I mean let's try to hit 1,000 likes on this. I mean like why not you know. But yeah so by the time you are watching this probably the update is going to be out in the main game and all of this is going to be available. Right but so first of all actually what has happened was we did get loads of new stickers and as you see over here we do have a new doodle cup buddy that basically confirms we are going to be getting b best summer 2024 quest in the summer okay then we also did get these hive skins over here so this one you get it from a golden cog mower this one is from a diamond aphid this one's from a mythic puff shroom this one's from a completing b best 10th quest of 2024 may return in future beesmas events and then this one is just from a pack we also do have new cub buddy vouchers and this has actually been added just because if you go over to the ticket 10 yes the cub buddy has been removed and replaced with a silver egg for 50 tickets a gold egg for 100 tickets a diamond egg for 400 tickets a mythic egg for 2.5 thousand tickets and a star treat for 1000 tickets and basically what this cub buddy voucher does is just gives you the cub buddy since it's just a new way to actually get it then we did also get this which i'll talk about the leaderboard rewards in a second because they are really really crazy and also these stickers down here so this is the reward from the mondo gift box so you have to complete bbm to get this gonna be really rare then you have the festive puffer fish another gift box reward and some of these but right so let me show you the new leaderboard rewards because well yes one of them does give you a turpentine on it has also changed a lot of these two like for example it actually gives you tickets now even if you don't get this reward but you do get on top 100 which it is actually really useful here is also the number one prize glowering gummy bear sticker okay yeah as you see over here 100 tickets is actually really good by the way i don't think it's that hard but here is the new crazy reward top 25 of the new event if you do get it you will get a turpentine and if you do get to top 100 you will get 50 tickets which yes this sounds insane then we did also get a couple new leaderboards and some leaderboards were removed like for example we did get a new reward over here and a new leaderboard daily top aphid exterminators top five gets the wavy cyan hive skin then we did also get daily top wild windy token collectors top 10 gets the tornado sticker then next as well we did actually get a bunch of new b quips like i'm talking like 15 to 12 new b quips and you can actually get them from first of all the dapper bear shop and this actually is the demon talisman and you can also get it from planters robo challenge stigbug challenge and challenge and more because yes it's a rare reward from them and talking about b quips as well you can actually trade the festive reef and the puppy bee antlers yes they aren't no longer permanent you can actually trade them we did also get the new coconut belt if you guys didn't see yet i will probably have a video up on my channel by now on me actually buying it because i am in test run right now and i don't really have enough since on it hasn't really saved the op files but what the coconut belt actually does is here is actually the combo coconut passive thing and the new unique instant conversion so it does actually give you 25 percent to 75 percent unique instant conversion then to 1.5 x pollen 50 x pollen red white blue pollen 50 percent b attack 50 percent honey from tokens and more but i will explain the coconut belt a bit more in a separate video though but now let's get into the supreme star amulet passive changes because yes that has been changed also literally every single gear has been changed as well like we have increased stats but also some were removed so it's actually really really crazy but for the new ssa stats we do have pop star now activates after collecting 30 boost tokens so it's not bomb tokens anymore which what's basically happening is on it doesn't want the game to be that macro based anymore then we do also have scorching star now activates after collecting 30 bomb tokens and buffed from 30 red boost tokens so it basically swapped and when scorching star expires your container is now instantly converted the star shower instant convert amount now scales with the field boost stack an additional 100% convert total per field boost stack getting a stack of inspire from star shower now contributes to triggering the inspire coconuts passive 
perspective of the coconut canister. So he basically bro changed the entire way to get Inspire. Then Guiding Star Aura now also grants 2.5x convert rate to the player who summoned it and 1.25 convert rate to other players in the field. The Be Gifted Hive bonus has actually changed as well because first, let's go to the Lion Bee over here and it went from 2 plus colorless bee attack to 5% gifted bee pollen. So like everyone will want to have Lion Bee in their hive. Rage Bee also changed from 1 plus attack to 10% attack now. Fire Bee changed from 50% pollen to 25 and 1x flame pollen. Same with Bubble Bee but with bubbles. Bomber Bee changed from 15% bomb pollen to 1.1x bomb pollen. Shocked Bee changed from 20% white pollen to 1.1x white pollen. Same with Rad Bee and Cool Bee. They all went to basically 1.1x pollens. Red and blue. Tadpole Bee actually changed as well though. So it went from 10% blue pollen and 25% instant bubble conversion to now only 25% bubble duration. Oh my god. Festive Bee had a crazy change as well because it changed from 15% red pollen to 1.25x convert rate at hive. So it's kind of like all bands changes I guess. This is going to be used in blue hives 100% now. Hasty Bee actually changed from 20% player move speed to about 15% player move speed and Stubborn Bee actually changed from 20% ability token lifespan to 15%. We did also get a couple buff changes too. For example, Dandelion Badge is changed to Honey at Hive instead of Instant Conversion. So quite a nice buff for blue. The Cactus Field Badge bonus has changed to Instant Conversion from Bum Pollen. By the Field Badge has decreased in White Pollen because it used to go up to 50, now it goes up to 30. So the Mountaintop Field Badge also has been lowered to 100 trillion instead of 1 quadrillion. Now okay, thank you on it. The Ability Grandmaster requirement lowered to 5 million tokens from 10 million. So this one, Puff Shrooms have been changed as well. So defeating a rare plus Puff Shroom grants Puff Shroom Blessing stacks that equal to 50% the level of the Puff Shroom to all players that contributed. So I am actually going to show you that new blessing in a second too. And it does stack from a 2x for epics, 3x for legendary and 4x for mythics. And it does grant loads of unique instant conversion, which unique instant conversion is basically gotten from Puff Shrooms, Robo Challenge, Sprouts and everything. Then he did also add loads of new mutations. So we did get critical chance from 1% to 3%. Let me actually try get some new mutations right now. So boom. Wait, okay, never mind. He did also add B move speed mutation, an instant conversion mutation that increases the maximum gather amount that can be created, that can be gathered. Same with convert amount, base attack, and more attack. Field boosters did actually get changed too. So as you guys see over here, whenever I use it, it doesn't say one hour anymore because it is 45 minutes now. So that is kind of useful. So whenever you are macroing as blue, you can get it every 45 minutes. So that's a nice blue buff. Then we have Nectar's changed a lot too. Oh yeah, and also for B equips on it has actually lowered the limit to equip elf caps, poinsettias and icicles from two to three. So that's quite a big blue nerf. He has increased capacity hive bonus though of the bearer and the festive reef. So some nice blue B equips you can consider using now. But let me actually tell you all the gear changes though, because there was so much. So let's start off with the masks. So the fire mask, for example, actually has a container space increased from 1.5x to 1.5x because it used to be 1.25x. It did also get 15% B attack and it went from plus two red B attack. So the bubble mask has been lowered to have 1.25 bubble pollen now. It doesn't also have instant blue conversion, but it does have 1.25x blue field capacity though. The demon mask instant red conversion increased 20% from 15%. Demon mask now also requires one invigorating vial to craft. And yeah, this has actually happened for like every item item now you need vials so the diamond mask has also lowered to have 1.5x bubble pollen because of the new bubble level scaling it also needs one comforting vial to craft and same with the gummy mask nothing really changed with that apart from that you need a satisfying vial to craft it so now all the changes for the boots and most boots just had like you know a couple changes apart from the gummy boots because the gummy boots actually have no longer two times convert rate at hive which that is a crazy nerf for blue but it did increase pollen bonus but it did increase bonus pollen up to 20% from 10% it also grants 3 plus base B attack instead of 10% B attack multiplier and gummy boots crafting cost increased by one motivating vial and one satisfying 
vial. All the backpacks have changed as well, but the coconut canister now grants 1.5x convert rate at Hive. So basically kind of like a buff because it got removed from the gummy boots. Coconut canister also grants 25% coconut filled capacity. The stacks of Inspire from Star Shower, Falling Bees, Mislights, or any non other token source now contribute to triggering the Inspire coconuts passive. So you're going to get it more often. So you're going to get it more often. Coconut canister no longer grants 10% pollen and it no longer grants 1B attack. It did also increase by 100 coconuts and two refreshing vials to actually craft it. So yeah. Then here is also overlag changes in crafting too. So Mondo Belt Bag now has 1 plus colorless B attack. It also has 10% buzz bomb pollen. The crafting cost increased by one soft wax as well. Petal Belt Loot Luck increased to 101% from 101%. So yeah, it is quite weird. Then we also have Riley Guard now increased from 10% red pollen and Bucko Guard increased in 10% blue pollen as well. The Gummy Baller cost reduced by 500 gumdrops and increased by free satisfying vials. And the Robo Bear Challenge does have loads of changes as well with the quests and everything. Same with Digital Bee and you can read it here if you want to. Then the clouds and everything has changed as well. On that has also actually changed how the entire event bees work. So for example, if you do go to Tabby Bee and you see 25% critical power and 1% crit chance if it's at max stack. So he has actually changed most of them and also some of the mythic bees as well. Like for example, spicy bees convert rate amount increased to 300 from 200 gifted spicy bees flame fuel buffed to convert an additional amount of 5% of convert total per field, field boost stack. So yeah, loads of changes today though. And they are pretty OP, insane, weird, yeah, changes. I definitely can't wait to see how all the metas will be looking like now because you are actually going to have to use Lion Bee in every hive, for example. Like it's going to be really, really weird. But yeah, so I hope you guys have actually enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys actually made it this far to the video. Let's see how much people actually watched the entire thing because there were a lot of changes. But yeah, so thanks so much for watching and bye. Also update soon. Bye.